Welcome everyone to PRI 2023 here at the Indiana Convention Center, Indianapolis, Indiana. This is a place for everyone in the performance racing industry to show off their latest and greatest go fast stuff. We're gonna take a walk around to look at some of the best builds and best products here at the show through the doors here into the main hall. Let's get started here with one of the fastest Nissan GTRs on the face of the planet. Everything you see here has been modified in some way, shape or form on this build. The interior absolutely gutted on this thing and it is a six second quarter mile car and that's why it needs two parachutes to slow down this car is a perfect example of a drag build here at PRI continuing with the drag racing theme we've got this pair of Mustangs an old Fox body and this newer one with the exhaust coming out right here and if we look behind the grill it's a massive turbocharger, and that's gonna be an overwhelming theme here at the show. There will be turbos absolutely everywhere you can stuff one here. Most everything here at the show will be forced induction in some way, shape, or form, and that includes this bouncer. There's also a lot of really cool diesel-powered stuff here at the show, like this truck that goes 497 in the eighth an absolutely insane time for a diesel powered pickup truck. But honestly, this thing's just scratching the surface of the stuff that you'll see. Now over here tucked away in the literal corner of the entire place is this Chevy wagon donk race car with an LS and everything tubbed, tucked, shaved, the interior is done up really nice and all of the trim on this one is finished in gold. Everything inside of here is custom upholstered and it's got a custom sub box to top everything off. This thing is huge, just absolutely massive, sitting real close to the ground and races real fast. Here's one of the more unique displays here. You've got engines on these custom rigs and you time yourself drag race timing. You can see them staging right here and then they have to click off the wheel whenever it's time to go. Shout out to the guys here at Advanced Clutch Technology for just being all around good dudes. Over here at the Borg Warner Turbochargers booth, they've got a radical race car sitting right next to their latest 370Z twin turbo kit. This thing looks super, super unique and up to 800 horsepower on this kit. This is one of my favorite trucks here. This C10 has multiple blowers stacked on one another. This is built by Mr. Bradley Gray. Shout out to him for making this wild machine. He's built some other cars that have multiple blowers and stuff on them too, but everything's done up so nice. And around back, look at how just clean this is. The tubs, the polish on everything. Again, one of my favorite builds here. Here's an excellent example of the diversity that you'll find here at PRI. This dirt track car really shows just how off-center everything is on one of these cars because again, they're going up high banks left. So everything's kind of tilted off to one side for maximum downforce to shove this car down to the ground. But not only that, if we just turn around and look over here, you've got a formula car sitting right next door. It just goes to show that it's not all drag racing here at the show. We are currently basically in the middle of Central Hall here and you can see just how busy it is here at the show. Now these guys here make custom toolboxes and they'll even build them to match your racing team. And look at this one. It's sitting on these tiny little wheels with slicks on it. Just goes to show that extra level of detail can really pay off on something like this. One of the more aesthetically pleasing racing products is definitely individual throttle bodies or ITBs. I'm more familiar with these on like a Honda, but the guys here at Borla are making them for Chevy and Ford V8s now, which is pretty cool. The HPT turbo display really shows off something really cool. Here you've got a turbo that's good for about 500 to 750 horsepower sitting right next to this big bad boy that's capable of well over 2,500 horsepower just insane the size difference on these two things like the impeller on this one can almost eat this entire housing here at the nitrous express booth this is not your ordinary chevy this is charlie brown it's got this nitrous fed v8 up front and look around back at the tubs for the rear end and right here you've got a nitrous bottle out back this thing is ready to go racing and while I know this is not a build, I wanted to show it off anyway because I know some of you guys would be upset if I didn't. This is the latest Hennessy Venom F5. This is the fastest claimed production car on planet Earth with over 300 miles an hour on this bad boy. Something like 1,700 horsepower too. 
This thing is just so crazy. Grid Life has one of the more chill booths here at the show with lots of plush seating all the way around. And they even brought out a couple of simulators. Just goes to show you can still have a really cool booth here without having to bring out high performance stuff. Pro Charger has brought like the most unhinged product I believe here at the show. This is not just a normal Pro Charger. Look at my hand. I can fit my entire fist in here with room to spare. There's no horsepower rating on this one, but judging by the other ones over there being something like 3000 horsepower for that one, I, I don't know there's a car making enough horsepower to truly need this, but it's crazy that they brought it. Back to the car from the opening shot. This is a Ferrari 599 drift car driven by Federico Srufo. It retains the V12 from the 599 with forced induction down here, makes a boatload of horsepower. And of course, round back, this is where the radiator and everything sits. So you've got this huge duct to funnel air down to the back and a big rear wing to finish everything off back here. This is one of my favorite drift cars, possibly my very favorite of all time. It definitely is my favorite drift car in the Forza Horizon series, Horizon 4 and 5. You can get this and drive it yourself. And again, back here at the K&N booth, this is Adam LZ's rotary swap Toyota Supra. And this car is super cool, a formula drift car, obviously. And a lot of tech goes into these things that people don't really think about, but the doors weigh like nothing. They're like four or five pounds each because they're made of carbon. I don't know who thought of deciding to do this swap right here, but it looks so nice. You see there's tons of room in here for like even a V8, but defying the norm and going rotary with this one, super cool. Here at the Baker Engineering booth, and they've got a Funko GT ANA. Now the name Funko might be familiar to some of you guys through the Forza Horizon series with the Funko F9. Back here is the power plant, and it is a supercharged LS engine making 10 50 horsepower, 1,050. This thing does wheelies on demand. It's limited to like 120 miles an hour. So you got all the torque. This thing is meant to play in the sand as hard as you can. Moving to the back of main hall now, this is where you're gonna find a lot of your machining and welding supplies. But then back here is where some of the craziest builds are. Back here in the back at Larry Jeffers race cars, there's two of some of the fastest cars here in the building. They've got this truck right here that is a pro-charged big block right here. And over here is a massive twin turbocharged V8. And it's just absolutely insane to look at the both of these things. Those turbochargers on this are like a cubic foot, foot by foot by foot. And in order to fit these super big tires, they have to be tubbed quite a bit. And these are carbon fiber tubs that go all the way up almost to the roof line here. This is a couple of crazy race car builds. Here at the mainline Pro Hub display, we've got yet another high horsepower R35 GTR. This one's from T1 Race, and it makes well over 2,000 horsepower. Definitely like a six second car. The BMR suspension booth. This is actually one of my favorite displays. This is a brand new S650 Mustang that they've color coded all of their suspension components to, like the camber kit down here. They've even got a drive shaft loop down here, springs, all this cool stuff. And it's from them. Like, here's their official list. But this Mustang is totally on its side. It's the only display of its kind here at PRI. And then the guys here at AP Racing have some of the coolest brake setups. And they actually have little things that say, what exactly they're used for. So not only that, they've also got Formula One carbon carbon brakes and one of the craziest calipers I've ever seen, a 10 piston from Lotus. That's just insanity. Here at the Exidy Clutch booth are a couple of really cool race cars. First off, this Time Attack car. Now Time Attack cars have tons of aftermarket aero associated with them and really, really wide fenders to fit the biggest, stickiest tires they possibly can. This Corvette has a Brian Tooley Racing 650 horsepower V8 under the hood. And then this Subaru over here is of course all wheel drive drag car and it is completely different. And it has a 1,350 horsepower capable boxer engine under the hood. Definitely the highest horsepower boxer motor I've ever seen. This is the Pro Mod quarter mile world record holder twin turbo V8 and 272 miles an hour, 5.3 seconds through the quarter. This thing is one of the fastest race cars here at the show. So cool to see in person. We're finally starting to see tuning companies squeeze every available ounce of power out of these new Supra engines. 
and this car is definitely no exception. Makes a ton of horsepower. It's got the bead locks around back and of course, a parachute to tie off everything. It's cool to finally see this generation of Supra start getting some real street car recognition. Now, if you guys are a fan of high horsepower builds, the Tycon booth is the booth for you. Starting with this BMW Z4 GT3, I actually featured this in my SEMA video. This is a Mercedes-Benz V12 power plant with an F1X Pro Charger making upwards of, get this, 1,400 horsepower driven on the street. And it is a streetable car. This thing started life as an actual GT3 car, but was then later translated over to a street car with plates. Sitting right next to that is one of the world's fastest S chassis cars. This is a 240 SX. And if we go up front, we've got a highly modified 2JZ, like you'd find in a Toyota Supra, with the turbo hanging off the front here. And that allows this car to do upwards of 230 miles an hour in a quarter mile. Absolutely unreal speeds from this thing. This right here is the world's quickest and fastest Acura Integra with over 1,500 horsepower, something like a 1,000 foot-pounds of torque, going through the quarter mile at up to 195 miles an hour with this turbocharged B-Series under the hood, up to 216 miles an hour in the half mile. And you can see here, it's all-wheel drive, of course, big drag wing out the back, parachute, again, fastest in the world you're taking a look at it right now and then across the way this is a salt flats truck this is a land speed record setting truck so uh, at least what they're attempting to do with it here and it is a 2jz under the hood of this toyota pickup truck with streamlined bodywork and normally it also has streamlined hubcaps that go over the wheels here but it is missing them here at pri it was on them at sema but really cool to see this truck and good luck to Mr. Scott whenever he makes this run. At the Vibrant Performance booth is a car that has been absolutely swarmed nonstop since the show started. This is not your ordinary Pontiac Firebird, as you can see here. It's basically a tube chassis car, a wide body, and tons of aerodynamics all around this thing. Just an absolutely unreal wild build. I love sleeper builds like this because you never know what to expect. The only telltale sign on this one is the bead lockers on the outside and of course the original looking five spoke chrome wheels but they are racing wheels and then under the hood this is what makes it a sleeper y'all a twin turbocharged v8 delivering plenty of power to this platform but for the most part on the outside you really would never know now this chevrolet c10 is no ordinary truck if we get up close on the paint you quickly realize that is not paint. This entire truck, tip to tail, is carbon fiber. Even the tubs here in the engine bay, everything is carbon fiber. An 850 horsepower V8. You've got V boxes up here integrated on the cage with cameras pointing one at the driver and one up front. And again, carbon fiber, everything. Even the bed inside, see the weave through everything, is carbon fiber. Now all the red parts here are actually Kevlar. The whole truck weighs just 3,000 pounds or about 1,200 pounds less than the stock C10 would weigh. Absolutely incredible. The attention to detail on this build is just absolutely insane. And they actually race it too. Can't wait to see it go to the autocross and tracks later on next year. The Kelford Cams booth here is proof that not everything has to be eight cylinders to be fast. This is an EcoBoost Mustang with the turbo setup, and this thing is incredibly fast. Matter of fact, it's the world's fastest EcoBoost with 1,000 horsepower, and it goes through the quarter mile in eight and a half seconds. Sitting right next to it is this Eagle Talon, and it is also one of the world's fastest, I believe it is the world's fastest, with 2,000 horsepower, of course, all wheel drive, going through the quarter mile in a high six second pass at almost 200 miles an hour, just bonkers. Now let's talk about diesel cars for a minute. This long gargantuan car is the world's quickest diesel powered car through the eighth mile in 
3.9 seconds. Additionally, at nearly 200 miles an hour. And keep in mind, that figure is in the eighth mile, not the quarter. Right next door is the Chevy Nova, and I know what you're thinking, well, aren't we talking about diesels? And we definitely are. 3,200 horsepower in this thing. This thing has a wild nitrous kit and is running 70 pounds of boost on this thing. All that results in a 4.2 second eighth mile. And again, another wild diesel swap, this time in this Ford Country Squire wagon with a power stroke developing 900 horsepower in this street configuration. I love the patina paint look, bringing everything modern with air suspension and larger wheels, as well as some really nice hot rod paint. This thing looks super cool inside and out. Now imagine you just purchased a Lamborghini Huracan STO, one of the most hardcore track focused Lamborghinis of all time. And you decide, hey, I need more power than that, right? Well, the guys at Sissio and Donson got together and built this wild machine. It is a twin turbocharged V10 and you can actually see the turbos hanging out here behind the vents. This thing weighs nothing and has a thousand horsepower. PRI is so huge that if I were to include everything in here, this video would be hours long. But if you guys wanna see some show coverage that's that long in the future, let me know down in the comments. Now let's head out of Main Hall into the corridor to go look at some cool race cars on our way to Lucas Oil Stadium. Here at the Indiana Convention Center, they actually have a tunnel that goes from the Convention Center over to the Lucas Oil Stadium. And on the way over, the halls are lined with these cool, historic race cars. There's even some really quirky ones like this one here. This is a pro compact car that Michael Waltrip actually raced in 2020. There's a photo of him with the car right there. It's super cool and really goes to show you never know what you're gonna find out here. It's right next to a gasser out in front of it. It's just super cool to see. Also out here in the hallway is PRI's featured product showcase. Now this is going to be all of the latest and greatest tech and innovations for the automotive industry. Let me show you a few of my favorite things. The guys at Speedway Motors definitely know their target audience with these mock-up engines and transmissions. So there's no need for you to actually put this up on a stand. You can actually use this, put it on a table. They've got these where they've mocked up all of the holes to where you can lay these flat on a table, no need to hoist an entire engine assembly up here and make your own mounts to fit these into just about any car. This Comp Turbo is the latest in turbocharger technology. It is hubless, it is oilless, it is air cooled. And yet this thing is managing up to 2,200 horsepower. Super unique turbocharger. I love this. This is a portable stick welder from Lincoln Electric. So you can take this thing just about anywhere you need to with that handy grab handle. And it doesn't weigh that much either. It's under 20 pounds. Further still, this pit weld U unit is completely battery powered. So you can weld both TIG and stick just about anywhere. This is some crazy racing tech from Garmin, like the GPS company. This is a coach. You mount this in your car and you do laps and it gives you coaching advice as you're going around the track. That's, that's just crazy. This could be the world's fastest Dodge Durango with a 1,250 horsepower supercharged engine up front and a completely gutted out interior with a big cage on it and big old fat Mickey Thompson tires around back. This thing certified ripper out on the track. And speaking of Mickey Thompson, the whole hall here is sponsored by Mickey Thompson Goodyear. So you've got all of these cars with their tires on them. This Chevrolet Monte Carlo is like the ones you would find on Drag Week. Now, the thing about Drag Week is that these guys are required to drive from drag strip to drag strip, carrying all the stuff they need with them behind them on street tires on the road. Just so crazy to see one of these things in person. Definitely one of the more unique displays here at PRI. And down here at the bottom of the tunnel, you've got a total change of pace with this 2,500 pound Honda Fit. These are actually a spec series race car in a lot of series. Like I know Grid Life has a series called the Sunday Cup where you can go and race one of these Honda Fits. It just goes to show that you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to get into some race car action. And then on the polar opposite side of things is John Andretti's 1991 Lola Indy car. Winner of the 91 Surfers Paradise race. This thing is super cool. And I believe it also finished fourth in the Indy 500. Just a very historic, unique, and iconic, of course, because of the yellow Pennzoil all over it. 
race car. And then if we turn the corner here, we are inside Lucas Oil Stadium. Up front, you've got several race teams like the Goodyear Racing Team, and let's go check out the Williams F1 team. What's unique about Williams is that they are heavily invested in esports. You can actually see the sim rigs that they have set up here, and this is an entire esports arena with rigs all over the place. Now, inside of the stadium area is actually the EV Karting League. And all these carts are electrically powered, and they have a course that sits right over here. And their course is actually set up on these super slick tiles. The entirety of the area in the very back is dedicated towards these trailers. PRI is also being mindful of the alternative racing with some biofuel cars that are over here, as well as some EV cars too, and partial hybrids too. And I'll take a moment to say just how crazy it is, how far our Formula E has come in the past few years. And to round us out here at the end is Ryan Literal's RB powered drift car, S15 Formula Drift Car. That's been just about everything here at PRI 2023. If you guys enjoyed, definitely leave me a like and let me know what your favorite car build or any part was here in this video. And take care, we'll see you at the next one later.